More than 70,000 turned out for the last baseball game at Municipal Stadium, October 3rd, 1993. Included were some who had attended the first game at the stadium 61 years earlier. Back in July 31st, 1932. What do you remember about that game? Wonderful, wonderful game. Mel Harder and Lefty Grove pitching. And I think that uh, Mel Harder pitched a better game because he was up against tougher hitters. When I was designated to pitch that day, why, when I came down here and saw that big, big crowd, that really gave me a big thrill. Built on landfill, construction of the giant $2.9 million horseshoe began in 1930, just a year before the first sports event, a boxing match between Max Schmeling and Young Stribling. The biggest crowd ever was 125,000 for a Catholic church event in 1935. But this was a day to remember baseball history. Catherine Bowles of Akron bought the last ticket for a baseball game at Cleveland Stadium. A friend named Carol made me the shirt and my kids got me the uh, Cleveland Indians watch and they had it inscribed saying I bought the last ticket to the last game at Cleveland Stadium with the date. To mark the final game, the stadium grounds crew dressed up in dinner jackets. Many fans wore Indians uniforms. Others brought special signs and a brass quartet from the Cleveland Orchestra played the national anthem. In the right field bleachers where he'd been for 20 years was Indians fan and drummer John Adams. Well, I would much prefer to stay right here. This is home for me. A lot of great memories and everything else, but we're moving into a new ballpark and I'm following my team. Indians pitching great Bob Feller said he would miss the big stadium, but not as much as League Park. League Park was a little more sentimental. Yeah, it had all the different dimensions. It was very unique. The fans were sitting back on the field and uh, you could hear everything they said to you. Three years later, after the Browns left town, the city auctioned off small pieces of the historic stadium. One fan paid $375 for a sign. I bought a uh, Welcome to Cleveland Stadium sign. Why? Uh, to put in my basement and just to have something to remember the old stadium. In November of 1996, wrecking crews moved in and began the demolition of the 65-year-old municipal stadium to make room for a new modern football stadium. Thousands of people came to the demolition, some with cameras, others just to be part of the end of an era in Cleveland history. They will never again see 80,000 people at a baseball game in Cleveland. Joe Mossbrook, Channel 3 News.